All right, here we are in Emberthorn Cove, showing off my movement speed build. This build is all about zooming around for picking up chests and doing whatever. And I totally forgot to change my skins on these weapons. Anyway, uh, I'm going to show you the build here real quick. We got Sprinter, Fleet-Footed, uh, Lightweight Frame. Uh, if you're running on a bigger map, this is important. Uh, I know there's some bigger maps that have a lot more chests that you can run and uh, be more efficient on picking up stuff. So uh, I'm going to be emptying out my ammo real quick here before I forget. Alright, that should be enough. Uh, now I got Shrike Lantern because that also increases movement speed. Uh, but sadly you can only use that when you're in an actual combat zone, so we'll activate that when that's available. Got military on site because it's got grace on it and a mobility cell. Strike down plate. Uh, Swift in slotted in there because it's got a mobility cell. Uh, another piece that's just got a mobility cell. Sadly, there's nothing really better here. Uh, there's another piece with grace on it and a mobility cell, so that's what we're running. Uh, and this is our total here. We got fleet footed, grace, sprinter, swift. Uh, Ethereal attunement is part of the bond and zeal to boost the effectiveness of the lantern by a little bit here so i should just be able to roll and then frickin book it ah i bounced off the tree that's actually kind of funny zoom no chest there i'm gonna roll just to build up some speed again Remember that uh, speed buff from rolling lasts 10 seconds, so you gotta redo it every once in a while. Now I'm in a combat zone so I can pop Shrake Seal. And finish this runoff. I think I already got my four, otherwise there's another one up here. And there's my movement speed build, so. I'm just going to keep this one short and sweet.